Hey guys, welcome back to The Ordinary Snob. I'm Susan and thanks for tuning in. So, as you can hear, something sounds a little bit different. Yes, I am tremendously sick. Tremendously is how I'm going to use to describe this, so yes, very sick. Um, <clears throat> so I pardon my voice. Um, so let's get right into this video. So. I'm reviewing today pet insurance, which is something very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, really, really going to try not to have waterworks coming. I'm going to try. Um, I can't promise anything, sorry. Um, <clears throat> but if you've had a pet, cat, dog, bird, turtle, lizard, whatever, you know the heartbreak it is uh, when they pass away. Um, my first dog, Raiden, <clears throat> he was 12 years old. He just passed away um, October 20th, 2017. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, it was a surprise diagnosis. He ended up with lymphoma. There was pretty much nothing that they could do. Even if he had chemo, they said that uh, they don't know how far it spread into his body and with chemo. He would maybe be able to survive up to a year in remission and dogs usually comes back. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I chose to um, put him to sleep. Uh, he could not walk in his final days. Um, I don't think he was suffering. Uh, he was on pain medication. He wouldn't eat his dog food. so I cooked him steak every single day, twice a day. <laughs> and uh, he had ice cream and I hand fed him that. And he would get up and go to the bathroom like once or twice a day and uh, never, you know, had accidents in the house this final weeks. And um, it was very hard. Um, sorry, boy. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, drink break my voice. So, with that being said, <clears throat> fortunately for me, I had pet insurance. Um, most of you may not know what pet insurance is. It is literally insurance for your pets, just like humans. Um, <clears throat> I found it um, right when I got Raiden, so he was probably about two months old, maybe, if that. Um, it used to be called VPI and now it's called Nationwide Pet Insurance. Um, there are other options and brands. Um, um, Nationwide Pet Insurance is based out of California. Um, ever since I've had them, they have been spectacular. I've never had an issue or a claim come back. Um, I highly encourage everyone, if you have an animal, Please get some sort of insurance for them. If you cannot afford it, because not everybody can, set aside a rainy day fund. You know, one for you and your vacations or your high-end bags, but also set one aside for your loved ones, your fur kids, you know, because they can't talk to tell you what's wrong. So if an emergency were to happen, um, you have that chunk of money. Now, I will say with pet insurance, fortunately for me, uh, I am uh, fortunate enough, I have two dogs, so I can afford pet insurance. Again, like I said, it's not really expensive. Um, for both of them, I was paying $57.57 per month for them. Uh, that was on the low end of the spectrum. <clears throat> Reason being is I had lost my job. Um, for a while, so I had to cut back on a few things. And a severance package only goes so far. So I had to downgrade uh, their health plan. Um, I had a $5,000 cancer rider on Raiden, uh, and I lost it. Um, but, yeah, so <clears throat> I will say it also will help you with flea medications vet visits. Um, Raiden was 96 pounds. He was a Rottweiler German Shepherd. Uh, so obviously by weighing that much and being that big, he had large vet bills. Um, <clears throat> so for example, his yearly checkups. 
um, like his shit, well not yearly, but you know, his, his shots and stuff. Usually his vet bill with all tax said and done, blah, 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 was $400. Once I submit that to insurance, uh, I would probably get about $250 back. So that was a nice chunk of money to come back, um, especially if you know you're strapped for cash. I'm like, crap, but my dog's sick, but I got, you know, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, another water break. So like I said, it does help. Um, it Most pet insurances will not um, cover if your dog has a pre-existing condition. My other dog, who happens to be a chihuahua, <laughs> um, she, I got her when she was probably about five years old, five or six, no, four or five. Uh, I inherited her from someone and she had cherry eye. Uh, if you don't know what cherry eye is, it's when the membrane of the eye sometimes protrudes and stays out. Usually you find it in larger uh, dogs that have uh, more bulbous eyes or little dogs like chihuahuas or shih tzus or things like that. Um, fortunately for her, it's very lubricated. I don't have to do any type of medication. There's surgery for it. Um, however, uh, it doesn't always work. Long story short, um, that is a pre-existing condition on her. Now, if I had her covered prior and then she got cherry eye, then, you know, most things would be covered. I could probably still get surgery on her. It just certain inclusions would happen, like certain things would not be covered. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, with that being said, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting some sort of coverage for your pet. Um, losing a pet is losing a family member, and if you don't think that, then I am giving you side eye all day, every day. Pets bring us joy. They do. Uh, and it's very sad when we lose one. <laughs> So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, in the description below, I will link uh, different websites to um, other pet insurance companies. Do your research. Like I said, I use um, Nationwide Pet Insurance, formerly known as VPI, whatever. Um, and that one I have found, it pays quickly. Um, there's not a lot of exclusions, things like that. Uh, if you can, pet insurance is the way to go. So, uh, thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Snob, and I'll see you next time.